welcome back to this commentary. Here we got some shoulder abductor rotations uh, to really warm up the shoulders, get them engaged. You want to try and keep your elbows pinned to your body. And this is really going to work all four heads of your shoulder. Next, we got dumbbell upright row. Here, pulling my elbow up as high as possible. Just doing one arm at a time to focus on that mind-muscle connection and to really warm up the rear delt. Next, we're gonna warm up our forearms with some forearm twists. You're just bringing your elbows tight to your body and just rotating your wrists front and back. Here, just keeping your elbows close to your body. Another forearm exercise and just rolling it up. Next, we're gonna warm up the traps and the rear delts by doing a semi bent over dumbbell rear delt and then we're going to go into a one arm one arm straight arm pull down uh, to really warm up your lats and your rhomboids um, because our first exercise is going to be uh, pull up so here i'm just doing the other arm just want to stay um, as upright as possible. You want to have a slight bend, I meant, at the hips. Um, and really bring your, your arm all the way up and all the way to your hip. Next, we got our first set, which is a dead hang pull up. So I'm going all the way up as high as possible and hanging for a second. And then pulling myself all the way up. No momentum. Uh, I really want to try and bring up the back, so the easiest way is to dead hang. Next, we have a double under grip pull up, and this is going to work your, your, your lower lats. So another lat machine pull down. Uh, we're working a wide grip, so this wide grip is going to really bring out the lats and I'm letting the weight go all the way up and I'm pulling it down to my upper chest or right below my chin. So the reason I'm doing so many lat, so many lat exercises is because the bigger your lats are, the smaller it makes your, your waist look. And for a bodybuilding standpoint, that is a good look. Here, I have a U-shaped attachment is what I call it. And this is really going to be working on the portion of the lats that connects to your external obliques. And so I'm just trying to bring my elbows down into my hips is the easiest way that I can say uh, for this machine. Here we have a one arm row to really work the rhomboids or that middle back to bring up the girth of your back the density of your back um, and here is a great way to also work your abdominals uh, any standing exercise uh, because it's going to be working uh, balance and control so you just want to bring your elbow back as far as possible and have a little twist at the end of it Here I have a rope attachment and we are doing a bent over lower back row and we're trying to bring the rope to our hips and let our arms go all the way down and then bring it to our hips. It's really going to bring up the lower back and the portion of the back that is most responsible for deadlifts and whatnot. And that was it for back. And here we just have some abdominal work. Uh, these are external twists. Uh, and so you really want the weight to hit the ground. 
pull with the opposite arm and push it as far as possible while contracting your abs the whole time. This is going to be a great way to work all six of your abs and your obliques, your internal and external obliques. So this is working all your ab muscles in one exercise. So if you guys like these types of commentaries, if you think they're educational, uh, comment down below so that way I can make more of these uh, and put that information out there for those that are wanting to learn more about this. This is day 13 into this cut to the quest to 205 and today I weighed in at 217.4 which is 7 pounds down from the beginning which is the new low weigh in. But today I am extremely tired and cranky and groggy. And that is because my body is in a deficit and it's not starving, but your energy levels are going to be lower. Your hormone levels are going to be lower. So just it's not functioning at what it should be functioning at. So that being said, I'm going to talk about cheat days and cheat days are where you're off your diet and I should preface this by saying you don't want a cheat day because cheat days are how you fall back into old habits and how you get up to excessive body weight and then you go on these mini cuts so cheat days are not they're not best cheat meals are going to be better and along this cut I am going to utilize them when I feel like this but cheat day cheat meals are used to replenish the body replenish calories um, so that the following day and the following couple days you'll feel back at it and you'll feel back to your normal self and not groggy and sleepy and just more easily angered. So, cheap meals. Uh, I'll be having one tomorrow. And if you know me, you know my favorite cheap meal is pizza. So I'll be having a pizza tomorrow night. So that is something I'm looking forward to. So today, my carbs are going to be a little lower. And my fats are going to be a little lower. Since I am having so many calories tomorrow. Cheat meals are also beneficial for those that are just starting out and exercise and eating correctly. I have one client I've been helping who is in his 30s and hasn't exercised really since high school when he was playing sports. So um, he is, his body fat percentage is well over 30%, which is not great. So what we utilize is a cheat meal every week. Um, to have something to look forward to for him, um, to have that end goal in mind, um, and to have these little victories along the way. So, um, what we've been doing is he'll be under his caloric maintenance uh, throughout the week. Um, he'll be eating right, and then on Sunday night is when he enjoys his cheat meals. So he'll have whatever he's been wanting for the week. Um, but it's just a good reward. And I recommend it for those that 
are struggling to eat correctly is that you eat correctly for six days out of the week and then you can reward yourself uh, sometime during the weekend or uh, whenever you, you feel that you need it uh, to keep going along this way. Because one cheat meal isn't going to kill you. It's when those cheat meals become cheat days and then cheat days become a reoccurrence every day. So reward yourself. This is a lifestyle. Um, so make the most of it. I will be making another video shortly, next few ones about refeeds and the difference between a refeed and a cheap meal. If you like this video, if you like this style video, um, let me know in the comment section below so I can make more of them where I just talk and tell you why things benefit in certain areas. And also like, comment, and subscribe to the video.